Welcome back, this is Serial Snacks, and today I'm looking at Just Cause 2, which is currently on sale on Steam for $3.75 for the entire weekend. If you're watching this video after that, just keep an eye out, it'll probably go down to that price again. So, $3.75, basically a couple sodas, maybe a burger, and you've got yourself this incredible game. Now, this game has, has escaped a lot of people's radars, I think, because Just Cause 1 was really not a game that was that impressive. See, uh, I'll show you a few little things here. First of all, you can... I, I'm done with the game, but there's... It's like hundreds of hours worth of content and stuff you could do. I'm just buying a plane here because I want to show you what, fly, how much of an open world this game really is. But really what it is, it's an open world game. There is a storyline and you can follow that and I did do that and beat the game, which in that, the storyline in and of itself is pretty epic. But there's also just tons of little quests and stuff you can do. And it's such an open world, and the, the graphics are just so crisp and clean that it's just a lot of fun to play. And I've played tons of hours in this game. Like I said, I've, I've beat the single player missions, and now I'm just doing mercenary missions, which allow you to do more missions. So it's almost, it seems almost unlimited to me. I, I, there's probably 100 plus hours worth of gaming, but it's not unlimited. But it reminds me a lot of a game like Skyrim or Grand Theft Auto, where you can just kind of go around and do stuff. And here's the map of the entire island of Panau, which is where this setting takes place, and you can see some of the missions here. There's a faction miss mission, there's, a, uh, there's different missions, there's faction missions, there's races, there's challenges. Uh, you can see there's an airport over here, and when they say 83% complete, I'll show you that in a minute, but there's a refinery run, that's a race with a car, helicopter hang around, I mean there's all kinds of stuff, and right now I'm just going to fly over to the airport and just show you what it's all about. You can pretty much steal every vehicle in the game, and like you saw earlier, you can actually purchase the vehicles and do that. I think at the end of this video, I'll show you one of the faction missions. I'm actually, they're called mercenary missions once you beat the game, but it gives you, it'll give you a good idea of what the missions are like throughout the game, because they really don't change a whole lot. There's not a, a ton of variety, but there's enough variety to kind of keep you interested. See, there's an oil refinery over there. Let's, see, let's we'll buzz the oil refinery. One thing about the oil refineries and just all the locations in this game is that they have destructible areas in them, which give you percentages of completion. I think I've completed this oil refinery. I think I've destroyed it almost completely, all the little pieces on it. Yeah. 100% complete. The Palantar Gas, Telak Panau. So I took care of that. The airport, I haven't finished it on, but really, almost every little structure in these areas is destructible, and so you can just blow everything up to your heart's content. So I, I really enjoy that. It's a lot like, like the Grand Theft Auto franchise, where you there's a lot you can just do. And unlike Grand Theft Auto and Skyrim, you can actually destroy the environment a lot more in this particular game. You can shoot trees and they'll fall over, destroy planes, destroy cars, destroy buildings, there's gas tanks, there's gas stations you can destroy. Really, if you just want to have, if you have like a, just a thirst for destruction, this is one of those games that really does it for you. Now I'm just going to fly around. I'll also show you, the cool thing about this game is that you can fly around like in your little jets or whatever, and then you can parachute out and switch between parachute and free fall and then you also have a like a grappling hook that allows you to fly all over the place. It's almost like you're Spider-Man in the game. Uh, this is actually probably better than any Spider-Man game ever made. Here we go, I'm gonna jump out of the plane. Here I am free falling down into the city. Now you can see on the bottom of the little circular map on the left it actually says 12%. That means that I've completed the city, destroying or taking care of 12% of the destructible items in the city. There's like statues you can like attach your grappling hook to your car and then drive away and it'll pull the statue down in a very kind of revolutionary fashion. I'm just gonna parachute over here to this building. So, like I said before, there's, there's, there's a storyline, there's voice acting of course for everything. I would say that the voice acting is probably subpar, so it's not like incredible voice acting or anything like that. And the storyline is, is more or less subpar too. I don't think really that's what it's about. I mean, the game is really about just exploring this open world, destroying things, using all these vehicles, parachuting, enjoying the environment, and that sort of thing. So let me show you the grappling hook real quick. Whoop, there we go. And you can just keep grappling. It's a good way to scale buildings if you don't have a vehicle, allowing you to then jump down and parachute off the building. So here's a pretty cool building we're at the top of in this city. You can see there's actually, here's one of the race items. I'm not going to actually activate it, but... Uh, and the view is pretty spectacular. The graphics are pretty amazing. It's a pretty crisp game. You know, Just Cause 1 kind of was, I think, a flop in many ways. And it's, it's a game you probably could skip and not feel too guilty about skipping. I played a little bit of it and was a little bit disappointed. 
and of course Just Cause 2 is so great. I, it, they're completely different games and, and really I don't think you're gonna miss anything if you don't play Just Cause 1. In fact I know you won't miss anything. So here we are free falling again. Ooh there's a helicopter over here. Let's go get this helicopter and I'll show you you know how you, uh, you I showed you the plane but you can also fly these helicopters and I'll show you some of the mayhem you can cause in cities like this. And after we've caused a little bit of mayhem, I'll show you one of the missions and what that is like. Uh, the missions are not... It's not an easy game, I don't think, in some sense. You can die pretty easily, just like Grand Theft Auto. You rack up heat. Uh, and we'll see that here in a second as I start to cause destruction. And that brings the authorities down on you pretty quickly. And they don't really give up. And you can run out of ammo relatively quickly if you're not careful. So... Uh, there is some challenge to it. It's not like you can just steamroll the entire game. Games like Skyrim, once you get up to a certain level, you can pretty much just annihilate the world. In this game, you never really are... Ooh, there we go. There's some destruction for you. But you never really are like a Superman in this game. You're you're good, but you're not perfect. Let's rack up some heat here by shooting some civilians. Got a little bit of heat level 1. Let's destroy this gas station. You can see the health of the gas station. And of course, that adds to my percentage for the city. You can see Pinal City Financial District, 14% complete now. So you can be destroying stuff all day long. And, and yep, there we go. I also love how you shoot these guys and they fly backwards because of the bullets hitting them. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Let's throw the grenade there. Heat level two, so we're getting there. So that's a that's a similar mechanic to Grand Theft Auto. Is that heat heat index, right? Let's steal a motorcycle. I'll show you that. And you get these little points chaos plus 50 so I'm driving the Mosca 2000 like I said there's tons of vehicles in this game and I think there's even DLCs that you can buy that add more vehicles to the game although I did not do that I'm just playing the base game so you can see how cool just the base game is it's you really don't need the DLCs in my opinion so we're gonna go over here let's see if we can find some more stuff to destroy just to give you an idea and I'm gonna cut this relatively short after I've caused you can jump off the motorcycle <laughs> and parachute. There's so much you can do. It's a ridiculous game. Some ridiculous things happen when you play. So that's what makes it a lot of fun, I think. Oh, there's my... Oh, I'm in mercenary mode, and that's what this completion 27% is. The mercenary mode, which is after, of course, the storyline. The, the last mission in this story was incredible. And in fact, I enjoyed all of the missions in the storyline. It takes you all over the island. There's snowy parts of the island. There's beaches. There's just everything you can possibly imagine. This island of Panau. I don't believe there's actually a real island named Panau, but it kind of reminds me of like the Philippines or something like that, where you're you're in this foreign country and you're trying to just cause havoc to to destabilize the government or whatever the goal is there. So let's ooh, another gas station. Let's take that out real quick. And uh, oh, 19% complete now on that. And of course, my mercenary completion rate's going up. There's all kinds of achievements, all kinds of little things you can do. So for the people out there who enjoy that sort of thing, this is the game for you. Now in a minute, I will show you a mission. So I'm going to cut this short, and when I come back, I will be playing through a mission, and you'll get an idea of what the missions are all about. So hang in there. Okay, so here... I'm in mercenary mode, and you can see I have the subtitles on because I probably have the volume down a little bit so it doesn't overwhelm my voice, but this particular mission is similar to a lot of missions that are in the game, and, and the goal is to steal three samples that this scientist has, and there's three laboratories, so you've got to go in here and you've got to do damage, but also try to get the mission objective done. And like I said, these aren't exactly the easiest things in the world, so I'm going to try my best not to screw up too badly since I'm filming this video. But let's go into this laboratory here. Oh, shoot these guys here. Now this isn't typical. I, you know, I, I've, I've played this before and I didn't realize actually let's uh, you have to actually just, I died once before I started filming but this, you, these laboratories you actually have to destroy the roof to get inside them. I didn't know that. And there we go. Destroyed the roof. Threw a grenade down here if you didn't, if you didn't notice that. And there's these health boxes on the wall. That's another thing about this game. You you die and you can get these health boxes. And there we go. We've got the first sample. Just, just be on the lookout. There's just two more laboratories. There's guys waiting for me down here. So we'll just run through here. Let's see. Um, maybe I can show you some more mechanics of the game that make this game a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Is there anything to destroy around? Yeah. Okay. There's some fuel depots over here. So it's just more, there's so many different items that you can destroy. So throwing a couple grenades ought to take care of that. Oh, yeah. And they're done. And you look at the top left, it shows me all my earnings, my sabotage is complete, my headshots that I've gotten. 
Anyway, headshots 199. I've almost hit 200 headshots. So, uh, of course, there's these ammo kits lying around. So, I really, there's a radar dish up there, but that, those are relatively hard to destroy. So, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I just want to show you this mission. And, of course, I'm also racking up heat while I'm doing this. Let me destroy the generator. And, like a boss, I'm going to run away and not look at the explosion. Oh, because I'm so amazed. And look at that. Uh, let's just steal this truck and keep going. And the, the mission. This mission isn't that long, I don't think, so this this, this video ought to be over pretty quickly because I really just wanted to give you a quick look. You know, my first impressions, this isn't really a first impressions, but this will give you maybe some first impressions of what you think of the game because, I, you know, like I said, I've already beat it. I think you should buy it for $3.75. That's a steal, so if you don't catch it the weekend that I'm posting this video, just be sure you try to catch it when it does go down again because inevitably it will. Uh, it's Oh, yeah, that's causing more damage. <laughs> like I said, if you love just destroying stuff, this is the game for you. This game is pretty satisfying when it comes to that. And also pretty satisfying in terms of just traveling around the island. You can get around this beautiful island in record time just because of your grappling and your parachuting and all that sort of stuff. And here, while I'm talking, I am not getting myself shot at too much here. Let's just destroy the roof and take out this laboratory. Working. Somebody's got a sniper rifle on me over here. Let's take them out. Okay. Ooh, almost dead. Let's go get the health box. Turret down here. And get the sample. Thank you, comrade. Now okay, thank you, comrade. Now retrieve the last sample. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we're gonna get this last sample here. Let's see if we can do that. I wonder if there's another truck I can steal around here somewhere. And see, typical of these missions, it changes. <laughs> now the scientist has the last sample and he's running for it. Ooh, there's a helicopter over there, but I think I'm gonna ignore that because I need to get that scientist. I'm probably going to regret not getting that helicopter that was over there behind me. See, because now I'm like on foot, and that's probably not smart. Eh, well, let's just... I just wanted to show you that, that, that once I get the scientist, the mission is over, so if I can just get him, then I can have showed you the, what this is all about. So you can see that just from this video, this is nighttime. Daytime's a little bit more vibrant, obviously, but you can see how expansive the sets are in this game. Really did a great job. It's funny because this company, you know, like I said, with Just Cause 1, kind of had a flop. Uh, but then they came back into Just Cause 2, and it's been very successful. It also very much reminds me of Saints Row the Third, where, you know, the first two games were popular, but I don't think they were quite on as many people's radar as Saints Row the Third is. And I'll probably be posting a review of that as well, because it's another example of a gaming company that kind of had okay games to start out, and then, you know, by a sequel they have become like mega hits so it's pretty incredible so I am gonna die and not be able to show you that so anyway I hope you enjoyed my first impressions and enjoyed this video and if so please like and subscribe and I will check you again shortly so thanks for watching <laughs>